As the bus leaves the bus stand, the traffic to the near side is fast approaching. The best thing to do is to wait for the lights at Aiken Road to turn to red. Once the light changes to red, it will be safe to pull away from the bus stand. You can then travel to the first bus stop. As you travel towards the first bus stop, the lane you are travelling in merges with the lane coming from Poinders Road. You need to indicate left to show your intentions to pull into the first bus stop. You will need to give priority to the traffic emergency on Poinders Road, as most vehicles will not stop. Once your path is clear, you can approach the first bus stop. As you approach the lights at Aiken Road, be aware of vehicles changing lanes to go straight ahead or to turn right into Kings Avenue. Take extra care when passing cyclists. Be aware of parked vehicles when pulling into the left. Be aware of vehicles entering McDonald's. Vehicles will cut across your path as you leave the bus stop so that they can turn left into McDonald's. Turn left into Brixton Hill. If required, ensure that there is sufficient space to pass a parked vehicle and vehicle travelling in the opposite direction. As the bus leaves New Park Road bus stop, there are often double parked vehicles, as well as vehicles parked partly on the pavement and in the road. You will need to indicate right to take up some of the offside lane. Take extra care when passing cyclists on the pavement who has the intention of travelling into the road.
Corpus Christ Catholic Church is located just as you travel through the lights on your left hand side. Just before St Matthew's Church, Braintree Road, the speed limit changes from 30 miles per hour to 20 miles per hour. St Matthew's Church is on your right hand side. On leaving bus stop Y, the bus lane ends just before Lambeth Town Hall. Be aware of vehicles pulling ahead into the left lane. Stay in the near side lane as it is common for accidents to take place when buses change lanes at this particular location. Travel straight ahead into Brixton Road. As you approach the next bus stop, be aware of vehicles cutting across your path to turn left into Brighton Terrace. Be aware of pedestrians on both sides of the road travelling to and from Brixton Market. When pulling away from the bus stop, be aware that pedestrians will be standing in the middle of the road, walking and running across your path. It is also important to note that vehicles will try to overtake you on your offside. Ensure you check your offside mirror when pulling away from the bus stop or going around another vehicle at the bus stop. The pavement area outside Brixton Station becomes heavy with pedestrians during the morning peak. Please ensure extra caution is taken during the morning peak. As the lights change, two cyclists cut across the path of the bus. It is important to be aware that this happens throughout your journey as well as heavily populated areas. Turn right into Gresham Road. On passing or stopping at the bus stop along Gresham Road, be aware of pedestrians walking across the road in front of your bus or from a bus on the opposite side of the road. When the mosque is open, there will be lots of people walking across the road. But the main problem is vehicles double parking. Drive with care.
turn left into Coal Harbour Lane. When turning into Coal Harbour Lane, there are a set of lights which will be showing red. The red light is for traffic traveling along Coal Harbour Lane. Ignore these lights and continue driving straight. Be careful that vehicles traveling in front of you may not be aware of these lights and could suddenly stop. There are often parked vehicles on the opposite side of the road. Please exercise caution at all times. The driver has given the cyclist sufficient time, distance and space to safely travel along Coal Harbour Lane. At the weekends and during the evening, vehicles double park. It causes problems when two buses or a bus and a large vehicle try to pass each other. During the day, vehicles park on one side of the road, so it's only an evening and weekend problem. Turn left into Denmark Hill. As you turn left into Denmark Hill, there are often delivery vehicles parked on the left hand side blocking the bus lane and the bus stop you are trying to serve. You need to be aware of motorbikes and cyclists weaving in and out of traffic at this location. Ensure that you travel into lane two. Be careful of the driver changeovers at the bus stop. Give yourself enough room so that you can... It should be noted that during the running, 
in the evenings, the Camberwell area has become quite problematic with buses stacking up and double parking. It is important to ensure that the correct protocol is followed at all times. Be aware that other vehicles may cut across the path of your bus so that they can enter the petrol station in front of you. This normally happens when the light changes to green. Here is another example of a cyclist cutting across the path of the bus. Drivers that are not familiar with the number of vehicles turning right at Albany Road will eventually pull into the near side lane so that they can go straight ahead along Campbellwell Road. Ensure that the free seas are applied at this location. Check your offside mirror when joining the traffic. Early in the morning and late at night, it is impossible to serve bus stop G. This is due to poorly parked vehicles at the bus stop. This forces you to serve bus stop H, which is the one before the one that you should be serving. This is the best practice. You will need to check bus stop G as there may be passengers that are not familiar with this practice. There will be lots of cyclists cut across your path, but the biggest problem will be pedestrians walking between stationary and slow moving vehicles when trying to get to the market. Delivery vehicles and other vehicles will park part on the road and part on the curb. This will prevent you from travelling straight ahead. 
you should indicate right to take up part of the lane heading towards you. Travel into the centre lane so that you can safely position yourself to turn right into Elephant and Castle. Turn right to Elephant and Castle. Once you serve the bus stop, ensure you travel into the middle lane heading towards the satellites. Turn left into Newington Causeway. Be aware that the cycle lane ends just before the next bus stop. Bus stop F is the last stop along the route. A motorbike rider can be seen pulling across the path of the bus and suddenly stopping and becoming a hazard. Turn left into Gaunt Street. Be aware of pedestrians suddenly stepping into the road. Elephant and Castle bus stand is straight ahead on your left hand side. You have arrived at Elephant and Castle bus stand.